So today we are going to make some future house and I'm going to start this from scratch. Um, we are going to use samples for drums and we are going to use Massive for the sound design. And I'm quickly loading in a kick into a simpler device. So uh, this is how you get a simpler that can hold an audio clip and um, I'm taking I'm taking this audio clip over here, uh, kick thirteen. I'm dragging it into a simpler, and then I'm then I'm creating, like I'm selecting this area, and then I'm you can for example right click and rename it to kick, and then you can create your uh, kick information on node C three. So this is how you create kicks and also, well, you can save time just doing it that way and looping the thing. This is how this got created. I'm using this for now. We also have another kick track, MIDI track over here called Sidechain. It's basically exactly a copy of that one, but it's not being played and I call it Sidechain. So the next thing we have here is another MIDI channel uh, called Bass. Uh, dry in this case and over here we are placing an instance of massive by native instruments It's that synthesizer and this is going to create our first bass sound over here So you can create another MIDI um, Clip over here we call it future house bass Yeah, maybe make it blue or something and then we go in there, we have it on loop, and we can start. I'm going to take this one, it's already prepared. And we are going in, and we can start creating our sound. I'm putting in some MIDI information now for our future house bass line. I'm painting it with the mouse. almost playing the same thing I'm just changing a bit of the notes in the end to have it more have it play out more interesting I think that's fine fine like this so we can use this pattern and uh, you know how to create um, copies you know you can select an area and then just hold alt key on Mac and the control key I think on Windows and then you can just simply like drag those copies here and then make your changes so that's a basic um, pattern and we are using over here we are using a patch called I call Gecko. Like all those patches and presets over here were created while working on future house tracks or something similar and then sometimes we try to recreate sound for example Oliver Heldens or something and then this patch came along called Gecko. That one actually uses um, the Grown 3 wavetable and we are taking that wave tab position over here with that intensity with that amplifier and we're taking it once more but we are pitching that one down an octave and that one up seven and this one is the color over here colors and uh, that one is going to be pitched down 20 24 semitones or two octaves and then we are using a little bit of modulation of ring modulation on the second oscillator and a little bit of phase modulation on the first one. We are not using any noises, we are not using feedback, we are just putting in the filter 
and it's on serial but the second filter is not activated so we are just using the low pass 4 filter we are applying a lot of it we are mixing only with the filter 1 over here and then we are going to the amplifier and then we are adding a little bit of dimension expansion expander here that one a little bit of dry red applied a little bit of chorus effect over here as well slight high shelf a little bit of cutting out the low frequencies here and one insert effect the sign shaper and um, that insert effect is being applied after um, the filter in before just before the amplifier and that's basically um, how you can make that sound and get this gecko kind of thing going now you can also use side chaining and for that you can drag on a compressor onto this channel activate it tell it to side chain from this track called side chain we talked about that already Just making sure the transients of the kick and of the bass are not mixing up together too much. You can also use a saturator over here with the, a bit warmer patch to make the sound fatter. Yeah, you notice it right away. If you put that on, you gotta go down a little bit over here. And filters are only applied if we go into song structure and arrangement later and we are want we want to have it fade in somehow something like so um, this would be like the most basic form of doing a future house bass using a pattern that sounds future housey and then applying some massive or you can use other synthesizers as well and playing it together with a kick and then you got that signature future house sound now you can um, achieve a full and fat sound with layering so we could like use that pattern and copy it to several other instances of the synthesizer and just use other patches play and play them along as well for example over here in this group i have um another patch loaded also from the from our massive pack and that one is called D house that's how it sounds and I can simply drag this information here but maybe we use it one octave higher sounds nice over there and then we can do the same thing again and go here and use another patch called polysynth where's that one polysaw that's it and that's what it looks like You can layer those and maybe play ar around a little bit with EQing. For example, you could like say we use the higher end of this poly thing over here, maybe like this. We use an equal equalizer and we like low cut everything out of there. Maybe just like this. And you could also like do the opposite or inverse over here and um, do something like this maybe. Like to divide up the frequency information. Anyways, you would always, on such a channel, you would always apply some kind of low cut over here somewhere to not have that stuff mess up too much of your low end and um, we can even take this a little further and do some melodic layering over here as well maybe drag it onto this channel and over here I use the simple MIDI pitch MIDI effect called pitch 
and put it up seven semitones to um, like get a top layer here. And I'm using the lead over here, one of the leads. Which one is it? I think it's the simple top lead. Yeah, I forgot to show you how to make that one. Sometimes there's, those are using pretty similar shapes. So what's, what else do we have here? A little dirtier with that one. But if we can use, if we can decide if we use that one or that one, I think we go with 35. And one more. So you see you always use the same pattern, you just layer up your stuff, you stack it up and then maybe you should uh, like group those and um, also sidechain those groups or something, cut out some of the frequencies, make them maybe a little bit warmer or you could also think of like maybe putting um, a compressor on your glue compressor on your grouped elements to just glue them together a little. So if we would do that over here, maybe like this. just the basics of sound design for future house bass kind of sounds what you need to do you take a pattern like that one and then you stack up some uh, future house sounding um, synth sounds you of course you can also do more with drumming later maybe use a clap <laughs> Can check the description if you're looking for those drum sounds massive presets and so if you like this video subscribe to our channel and i hope to see you next time bye